Do I have food in my teeth? No. What? Just your face. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just nagging you. No, you have no teeth. Food in your teeth. I have no teeth? Yeah, you have no teeth. No, weirdly, you have no teeth right now. Okay. Um, Remember welcome today? Welcome top of the morning to you listeners. Who's that? That's... That's the intro to the pod. Welcome back to Find Your Beach. That's actually uh, the baby in the box has reformed himself and he's now a uh, street urchin in uh, <laughs> Dickensian London. <laughs> so uh, no longer a problem, no longer a threat. Welcome back to Find Your Beach. Extra, extra, read all about it. Find Your Beach Patreon episode. <laughs> Ew. Don't touch me. You have fuzz on your face. Don't ever touch me. Guys, welcome back. It's a Patreon episode. We're so excited to be with you today. Yep. Um, whether you're listening to this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the night. Um, we, have, uh, we have some stuff to talk about. We have a lot to talk about. This is the, today is the first time that we've seen each other for an, a substantial amount of time. A very substantial amount of time. I mean, we have, uh, at this point, we are in a long distance marriage. Yeah. Like, we haven't seen each other more than how many days this month? Five. Five. Five days in the last month, maybe. And we're talking, the like, not September. We're talking, like, I don't know. I think I've seen you a total of a week since late July. It's fucking horrible. I, I honestly have missed you so much. And when I got home, it was like... Oh, thank God. I'm back to uh, my man who loves me, my dogs who love me. Yeah, it was also your first time that you'd seen Charlie since the beginning of August. I know, I missed him so much, my little baby boy. Charlie growled for both of us, but for you this morning, he growled for a long time because he was bitter that you had sent him away. This is what Charlie does. is If you leave him for a long time and then you come back to him, he will... Uh, you hug him and he just growls like resource guarding basically like if you're touching him and he hasn't touched you in a long time he's growling at anyone who might come near you is that because what it is? that's what it is he's growling to keep everyone else away from you it's crazy he's like don't have anybody don't anybody this is a very important embrace that guy's nuts he's crazy he's a crazy dog he's a wild child he's an icon he is. I love him so much. Um, he went to Burning Man this year. But it was it was a crazy. Did he? Yeah. Really. Took the I heard it was a shitty there. one. Yeah, it was. It was small. It was kind of intimate. He said he had a good time. I bet. He said he went to the sober tent. I was like, okay, bud. What? You don't have to copy us on everything. Yeah. Yeah, but he sa- he does constantly say what a mentor you are and how cool he thinks we are. That's true. You know, and, and I, I am cool, and I am a mentor, so. Yep. Um, so we do have a lot to talk about, though. Rosebud just got back from Los Angeles. And Andy just got back from Maine. New England. Is that how you say I it? I did all of New England. Maine. Mine's less, mine's, mine is less, like, mine was serene and wonderful. I went to Manchester. I did a gig. I went up and slept in the White Mountains. I... Drove to the top of Mount Washington and took Mouse uh, to the edge of a cliff and told her if she didn't change her ways that she would become an angel dog. Yeah. And uh, she's been really behaving very well. So I think it worked. And then we went and we walked. Actually, there's this place called Diane's Bath. Mm-hmm. And that's near Conway, Maine. And we just walked up a river. Like the river's shallow and it's like granite. So is you, it is it a place where a woman named Diane killed herself? I mean, she took a bathing? bath there probably. Okay. But uh, Mouse swam Must have been a hell of a own. bath. No, she didn't swim on her own. No, there she did. Really? Yeah, because she would be walking with me, and then she would walk through the water, no problem, and then it would get to a point where she could swim, and she would swim to the next part that she could walk. Really? Yeah, it was really cute. That's so cute. But then she kind of got in over her head, and she got into a little bit of rapids. And, oh, no. And uh, it was pretty funny, because she was like climbing trying to climb these rock walls she was never a danger it was like literally like a you know a creek but it was pretty funny she was like holy shit oh god that scared me yeah there's i'm sure there's a reason why you didn't tell me about that (laughs) i think that's it right there that reaction that's that does worry me (coughs) because 
I feel like you would, like, you find it so funny when our dogs, like, can't coordinate their bodies <laughs> that you'll, I'm scared you'll just, like, be recording and cackling while they're literally drowning. No, I would never let anything bad happen to either dog. I'm kind of a Boy Scout like that. Never lost a camper, you know? That's a point of pride for me. No dead campers on my watch. Good for you. Yep. Um, Although way to one keep time the bar. I did get out of a search and rescue trip because I had a date. So that was kind of not my proudest moments. Anyways. Um, so how did this trip end? What was the last stop on the trip? Oh, well then, uh, so I went to Manchester, White Mountains, Exeter, Boston, and then I drove up to Portland, Maine, had a great time in Portland. Me and Mouse walked all around Portland and then we went swimming in a place called Wilkie's Pond. Mm -hmm. I did force her to swim there. Yeah. And then, um, (laughs) we went up to your mom's house and, uh, me and your mom hung out for two days. Which is something I've never done. I've never done like a solo hang with a significant other's parent, really. Yeah. Like for an extended amount of time. And how was it? It was good. Um, I made the mistake of like, we had a really good talk, but then I realized after the fact that like I probably didn't need to get, give away all my cards or whatever, show her all my cards, because then she would like chime in throughout the two days and she'd be like, you know what? I heard something. And then it would just be like, oh God, I didn't really, I was hoping we weren't going to talk about that again. Yeah. You know, but your mom is very sweet. I love her. She's like, I would say she's like, feels like more of a friend than a mother-in-law. And she also took me to an amazing dinner. That was really cool. Yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, you got there that night and then called me two hours after you arrived and you were like, I just want you to know, I really, I love you so much. Yeah. And it's just, we have such a great life. I was drunk. Yeah. Yeah. It was something was wrong. Drunk on my mother's love. Drunk on a, on a mom's love. I would rather you had told me you relapsed. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> 